She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah, troll. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? I think it's Holly's Maybe sister, Lily. Home. That's kind of interesting the that would be the there. Trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported oh, wait, no. missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. She, she can do what she wants. Come with me. I'm not gonna stop her. I got but her. We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. I got her back. She'll be okay. I'm not leaving her with you. Definitely not. Cause you acting kind of weird. I feel like he's trying to play it cool to like cover up his tracks or whatever, but I don't know. This whole Who's thing this is guy? complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. You wanna play darts that bad? He pacing back and forth. <laughs> Hey, I'm back. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Do you want to fight? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? What the fuck do you think? Miss White. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Jack? Is that like Jack and the Beanstalk? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. Not all of us. I at the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm Jack dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, mm. everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes, it's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman? Who you know had nothing to do with these murders. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now. <laughs> Please. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? <laughs> Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Shut up. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing.
Yo, they got his character so perfect because that's how I would imagine. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... The music stopped. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... <sighs> I wish this had ended up better. Take a breather. I'm sorry. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. That's how you feel? Wow. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. Her personal I, effects. I didn't know she still had this. The copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Where did Jack go? Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Hmm, it's quiet in this little corner. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here oh, I know more. in the city. Why was Lily, she Why was Lily away by it. Why weren't you talking? Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. Damn. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Pudding Holly, pie. It's okay. Georgia. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Let's go. Anything else <laughs> really? you can tell us? Anything we can do? Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. But that's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn mm. our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look. Why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. I'm trying. <laughs> But be careful, Snow, because... Is that from the fight earlier? I had to do what I had to do in that fight. He was whooping my ass. 
he wasn't holding back either. This game is so colorful. Please have fare ready when you're reaching destination. They're putting it packed. Down in the Bronx. Oh, she got a ribbon on too. Okay. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm looking for someone. Finding uh, you someone is I our want specialty. You. But the club's closed. Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. <laughs> I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Girl. <laughs> Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh, my lips are sealed. You better ask Georgie. You like the fifth person to tell me that? Oh, the music's loud. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. But you're watching nice though. That makes no like sense. A real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You could go home. What are you looking at? Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Oh, the music was trash. That's why she couldn't dance. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. I'm not here for that. I'm being Ooh, nice. I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. <laughs> Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. You're so corny. <laughs> you're so corny. <laughs> okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you, do you, when did you hear? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. 
Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. This Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. You just and we're all just meant to I'll jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. No, look this at it. was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, what? now what to do with me? Go on then. Try looking in the mirror. Turn that shit off. We're not done here. Can you turn, turn that, that shit, shit off? off. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? That's what you like. Tell me what I want to know. I want to know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Oh, no. Clumsy fuck. goof. Yo! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You so proud you mad at her? Mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Who's this guy? Fuck up, Hans. Wait, what? What do you call him? Hans? Oh, he did say Hans. I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I should have been... I should have said something else. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There yeah. is no book. No, it and is. for you, Hans. We need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. You gonna spank hey, him? Hey, that's my personal property. It's mine now. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. Ooh, I like this. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now. This is him doing this. I ain't doing none of this. I want the book. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Never Don't even TV. think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? I There's happen to bring no something. Book. End of story. You're gonna give me something. You're gonna give me that book. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. <laughs> well, well. What's, What's this? this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will he come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. You got to What? Her Georgie gave me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. You Jesus. Got a safe in your You're club killing me. You don't know I'm about begging it? you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> the boss is a DJ booth. <laughs> I don't like the music here anyway. <laughs> Yo, 
I don't play none this of my favorite pub. jams. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girl's on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Is that the key? Woody, come on, then. What did he pick up? Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. <gasps> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's That's nothing the in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Either I did this really right, or that was gonna happen anyways. Because... Is this, this is the book? Here, this is Lily's last yeah. entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book, your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I love huh. the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. What year is it? What? Why you got that phone? <laughs> All right. Hello, Who? business office. Who's that girl? Hello? Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Okay, so this is the dressing room. Where the girls are. Or where the girls would be. So Lily's locker, or cubby. Babe. Aww. Lock's been busted open. Hmm. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. He got music playing right now. Faith, He'll be all thanks right. for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Yeah. Anything up here? Where's that girl? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Had a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? What type of flower is that lot. in your head? It's not a lily, is it? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This no. is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Somebody got it's how things work Fable here. Town on lock. People keep saying that. People keep saying that, like... People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Tell me. 
Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Like at the precinct? What are you suggesting? Not what I'm here for. I don't think she means it in that way. What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Uh, I don't think she means it in that way. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not to good talk? to be short. Cause she's gonna talk, right? Offer what you have. I don't have it. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. Okay. Don't you pull nothing funny. Is that Georgie? Georgia? Oh. Not 207? Is that her apartment? I'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. but I just got him some uh some I ain't even gonna say it sir you supposed to be out here solving crime and stopping it Ooh, getting you some some trim <laughs> you are on the clock sir the open arms hotel -y. These places are shady, like gritty. Shit'll kill ya. <laughs> That's why I don't drink it. I don't know. I stopped drinking cola and Pepsi so long ago. You should probably repair that. or anything like the lobby they should cut their rates it ain't nothing for like a it's just for a quick you know a quickie that's all it's good for want it by the hour or for the whole night oh uh, you i work here okay i work the front desk it's to help pay rent so now you know I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. She sound like Beast Clementine. Is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right. Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Big B, and thanks for covering for me last time too. Oh my God, so, this is Clementine. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see her running with anyone? Did you know, Faith? Have you seen snow here? Have you seen snow here? 
that's kind of weird to have as an option. Um. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. John I Doe. think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, mm. it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. I don't think that's a good idea. Because I have a bad feeling Five that minutes, Beast is going to see, see y'all. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Oh, uh, okay. I have a feeling Beast might see them together and assume... Because he doesn't Listen, know where his baby, wife is. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Somebody is getting it in. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Um, do I want to go to seven or six? I can go to all of them, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, can I go to the other ones then? I just want to... Oh, I didn't want to use the key. I didn't know that that's what that was. Oh. oh, I can explore. You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? Okay. So I thought it was just like, I only had one choice. I didn't know that I could actually look around. So- I'm never sure why they have desks in a place like this. Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't That's what expecting I'm gonna do. much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No, the key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. So, are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. <laughs> you have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Is this Hold the room on, they in? I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Well, I guess. So... Never mind. Oh, this is that room. Hey, what the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're gonna get me fired. I need this job. Okay, I'll be careful. I'm sorry. I'll be careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'll do my job. Okay. What's in here? Let's just go to 207. 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? I knew it! No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other. Look at his other. eyes! Great! I know what this place is. I know what goes on no, here! No, that's not what I meant. This is a murder. I knew that was gonna happen. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad! Uh, hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! You got horns now? Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! <laughs> I told you to stop! Look at you! This is how you handle things! You're defending him? I'm trying to explain. Ah! She's my wife, Big B. Calm down. I told you. Ah! Stop. Calm down. Okay, okay, uh, okay. It's it's time to get active. Cause he's not listening at all. Please. Leave it be. This is my fault. I hit Y. I hit Y. So. Come on. Come on! Get over there! Oh, he's choking me! What? Get the f Okay. <laughs> How? see this <gasps> it's those flowers stay outside door doors open now shit beauty stay in the hall what why what's going on <gasps> oh my god don't touch anything is this is this lily met her client here mr smith whoever he is and then must have happened right here jesus last night yeah I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work <laughs> at the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, that's what we were trying to tell you. This is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? 
there might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone Are you sure? Because I just heard a couple like getting it in. Shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. So... Can I... Hold on. Because I never got to go to 206 because I was just picking random doors. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. We shouldn't even be in here. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers are already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. Yeah. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. <sighs> What's that? Do you smell something? No. Just apple. <gasps> An apple? An apple? <sighs> what is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. whole book is about her? Yeah. Huh. What is it? He has a foot fetish. He may really bite the apple. He likes to see snow in Carol. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Oh, of course. That's so that weird. makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Uh... <sighs> Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? Was she breathing? Uh, I got a nice coffee. Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. He's obsessed with snow and obsessed with death. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? His horns are still out. Not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Huff and puff? Maybe Did she any... didn't see it coming. Did we notice anyone else smoking? He brought wine. Classy. Wine. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. My arrival? 
the trash had something on it. Oh, is that her dress? Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? He likes it rough. He could be a cross-dresser. It looks like Snow's costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about Snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Somebody was stalking her. Pictures of the dead girl. Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no, Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. Is this the? His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? <gasps> it's beast, isn't it? Rain. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> you now good I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel really starting to like you sheriff you're not afraid to be a complete bastard obviously there will have to be some changes Gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. No, what I was gonna say was okay, so the reason why I like blurted out it's beast. No one is talking about or finding it kind of weird. Like, why was Beast there in the first place? Like, why? What, what? What were you doing there? First of all, first of all, you don't even know where your wife is. Okay, I don't think this is a coincidence that he just. It's just kind. Of, it's kind of strange. Why are you there in the first place? You don't even know where your wife is. You you don't even know that she works there. So why are you there? No one ever questioned that. And it just dawned on me like, okay, what is he doing here? But yeah, y'all, that was this episode. It's getting real good. I cannot wait to play the next one for you guys. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed this gameplay. I will see y'all in my next one.